What's up, YouTube? Sierra here with DIY Dwight. And Matt. And we had a chain link fence here before, and as you can see, we don't have that anymore, and we're really excited about it. It's a three-day weekend, so what do we do? The All projects. the projects. And we're really excited about this one. We've been procrastinating and putting it off for a long time. So check out our video, and we'll show you how we did it. So first, Matt had to take all the chain link down. You can see he's cutting it across the top, and it comes right off very easily. Now Matt's going to roll up this scrap chain link so we can get it out of here. We borrowed this really old post hole puller from a friend and it really came in handy. As you can see here, this made the job a lot easier. After we laid out our lines and measured where we wanted to drill holes, we drove up to Home Depot real quick and rented this towable auger. So much easier than using even a hand auger or digging them yourself with a post hole digger. This really saved us a ton of back pain and just made our day shorter and made our job way easier. They say to work smarter, not harder, and that's exactly what we did today. Now it's time to set the posts and lay them all out to make sure they're straight and where we want them. Now Matt is mixing up the concrete so we can pour it into each post and set it for the day. Matt and I started off our morning with the smell of sawdust in the Lowe's Lumber Department as we filled up our cart with the perfect pickets. And never underestimate the power of an FJ Cruiser, everybody. It can get you there and get you home with whatever you need to load in. Now it's time for a little montage mode of setting up these rails. Shout out to McKinsey for coming over to help. As each section of rail went up, I went through with a paintbrush and some stain and just to put a nice coat to seal each rail up as we went. Now we got the nail gun out, the air compressor, and we're going to go ahead and put these pickets up on our rails and get to the last stage of this project. The ground is bound to be a different level in each section of your yard, so you're probably going to have to get out your skill saw or your miter saw and cut a little bit of off of most of your pickets so that they all line up properly. friends yeah as you can see we're still not done <laughs> we ran out of pickets and so we just go back from Lowe's and we're gonna finish it hopefully today it's hot it's Texas it's September why three-day weekend let's go let's finish this let's get it done So weirdly enough, it looks like we bought the exact same wood yesterday that we bought today from a different Lowe's, but it has the same price tag, but the ones we put up yesterday were pre-stained, and these were supposed to be pre-stained, but they totally aren't. But good thing is we have lots of stain, and we're just going to slap these dirty boards up there, and I'm going to stain them. Now it's time to assemble the gate. First you need to figure out where your gate's going to go, and once you do that, you need to start framing it out. You want to make sure you frame it out before you put the pickets on, and this makes it a little bit easier to put all the framing and support in. First we're going to put the supports in that are vertical. You're going to have one on the bottom, one on the top, and on each side. Once you get those put in, you're going to want to put in your cross braces. We were told that it's better to make sure that they're angled towards the opening of the gate. Once you get all your supports in place, you're going to want to hang your hinges. You want to make sure to line them up exactly where you want them to be, pre-drill your holes, and make sure everything is square and level. 
Now Matt and I are going to hang the last few pickets before we separate the gate from the rest of the fence. It's open! Yay! Um, I know there's a tree stump in the way. We're gonna take care of that mess. Oh, dang. That is soft. Hooey! Mmm. That is how you get up a tree trunk. Ladies and gentlemen, we used stump out about a year ago on this bad boy, and it works. Finally. It just takes some time. So that is a stump. That's just another one of those lessons in life where a little perseverance and a little patience can get you places and strength. Wow. But, There's some more barbed wire in here. Or a. Uh, What's that called? Not barbed wire. Fencing. All right, let's try it out. Moment of truth. Oh, we have a gate. Sweet. That's right. Right. What is this? The last board. Woohoo! That, ladies and gentlemen, is a fence. <laughs> All right, YouTube, we did it. It only took three days, more three screws, whole days, and nails than I ever thought we'd use, uh, and about 800 trips to Lowe's and Home Depot. Just three, actually. <laughs> One every morning. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, leave us a comment. Have you ever built a fence before? We'd love to hear about it. And we'll see you next time. Good job. Good job.